this week on Scam School, the selected cards, they assemble! Back again at the Rusty Mule right here in Austin, Texas. Got all of our favorite friends here. And I finally have an excuse to use my brand new, these are the Raspberry Mint cards from 52 Cards. 52 Cards just did a Kickstarter for their mint playing cards and they're freaking beautiful. All right, I got a card trick for you guys. We're gonna do four different cards. Go ahead and touch whichever one you want. And yes, you guys are aware that magicians can force a card, but you gotta memorize it. I, I swear to God, if you forget it. your card, you're gonna get you're gonna get a flip-flop to the face. Everybody show the cameras. What you got? Actually, you can show me too, it doesn't matter. So we got a seven of diamonds, two of hearts, queen of spades, and a seven of spades, right? Uh here we go. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, 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 gimme. Because we have four cards, we're gonna make up four piles. There's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four piles, right? That will correspond to one, two, three, four cards. So we'll put this. This here, this here, this here, and you, you were the yeah, seven. Yeah, right, yeah, okay, yeah, got yeah. it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Keep an eye on your cards, because the cards are super duper magical or something. I don't know, really, actually, to be honest. I'm gonna give the cards a cut. Now all of your cards have gotten together at the top of the deck. What was your card? Seven of diamonds. Seven of diamonds, who had the two of hearts? Yo! Boom, Woo! who had the queen of spades? That's me. And. Seven of spades. Ah, oh, magic is Man. real. Your life is a lie. Very Everybody cool. toast me. Damn. All right. Hey, Brian, check this out. Yo, what's up? My name is Brian Brushwood, and I eat potatoes from the sewers. I mean, that's not wrong, but I didn't say that. It's this new software. It took the thousands of hours of recorded footage of you, processed it, and now it can synthesize new words that you never said, like this. Domain.com has all the top level domains you want and the reliability you deserve. Also, I eat my own farts. All right, again, half right. What was that thing at the end? I mean, the technology is amazing. We don't even need you for the rest of this ad. Look. And don't forget to save 15% off of your domains at domain.com with promo code SCAMSCHOOL. It's the singularity. Don't fight this. Whoa, hey, no, no, that was not cool. Yes, cool. No, stop! I do not approve. Stop, 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 stop. I hey, no, that's fine. So the idea of different cards assembling themselves in a shuffled or mixed up deck is super, super old. There's a billion different variations on it, but this one came to me from Matt Pilcher, who submitted a bunch of different ideas to the show. So in this case, let's say you guys happen to pick the four aces. So I would have you guys select cards. And what I love about having them pick their own card is that it makes it personal. You can ascribe personality and you feel like there's a connection and they feel like they have a secret. So in this case, we have four aces and you put them on the bottom. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm going one, two, three, four, five, Five, six, and I'm actually gonna take six cards and square them up as a block. You see this? This is what magicians call a pinky break. And then this is the beautifully elegant part of the whole thing. I'm gonna pick up this block of how many cards? Six. Six, and then I'm just gonna thumb off a chunk of this, a chunk of this, a chunk of this, and a chunk of this. So I've made four piles, right? And I point out there's one, two, three, four piles because we have one, peel off one card, two, peel off two cards, three, and then I'm gonna show this last card as a block, even though that's actually three cards, and then dropped it on top. Here's the one secret magic move, and you guys can do it any way you want. What I do is I just have my thumb on there and I just go one, two, three. Or peel up one, peel up two, peel up three. But either way, you're gonna take three cards as if it's one, yeah. and just set it on top of this pile. Then you're gonna take one, one, one. And then now here's the only slightly tricky part. You're gonna take one pile, put it on top of two. Two pile, put it on top of three. Take the third one, and when you get to this last one, just kind of halfway put it on like that, and you're gonna pick it all up to the side. And then as you square it up, just put a big old fat stick of pinky right in there, okay? Because the three cards on top of that bottom chunk are the first three cards and then the last one is the one on top. Then all you have to do is with your thumb, you're gonna peel off the top card as you pull off the top half. Then you just set down the bottom half and the top half has all four, all four of their cards. cards. And you set that on top. And even though they saw one, two, three, four, you're able to reveal the truth that all four of their cards are right there in one spot. That's in fact, slick. it's probably a better way to have everybody say what their card is first. That way everybody knows that they can be held accountable. And then you just grab them and then drop them down. Because as we noticed when we were mucking around, the order will be different than when you originally laid it out. All right, who thinks they have the goods? Uh -huh. To perform, no. yeah, that's right, it's fast. Wow. Everybody, everybody's one, two, three, not it, wow. not it. <laughs> Curtis is going under the bus. Wow. <laughs> 
Oh, Curtis, I hear you're a wizard. Is it true? Uh, I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> Pick your favorite ace. Oh, Ooh, dude, wow. yeah, I want ace the ace clubs of spades, is my favorite man. ace. Give them back. Give there, them back. There's mine. There's so, mine. Yep, yep, so yep. you are now blood brothers of aces. So as you see here, we have one, two, three, four lovely aces. Four right aces, there. right? We're going to make sure you guys stay blood brothers. Ace, ace brothers. Ace brothers. Ace bros. Ace, 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 ace bros. Yeah. Aces. Totally. Ace holes. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to split up the group a little bit. Uh, but don't worry, you guys are ace brothers. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to wait for We're the ace holes. Come on. Ace holes. Yeah. Yeah. The ace no holes matter what them. happens, the ace holes, the ace holes will be One, two, yeah. three, four piles, right? Yeah. yeah. So we got four piles for our one, two, three, four cards. That's good. Ah. That's good. So we got four piles. Why do we have four piles? We got four piles with four cards. We got four of you. We want, no one's lonely. Oh. Pile number one, two, three, four. Mm. Don't worry. You'll see each other soon. How soon? How soon? Depends on how good my wizardry is. <laughs> better have confidence or else you're going to be really lonely. So remember how I segregated all you guys? Uh, yeah, dude. Segregated? I don't approve of segregation no, for segregation. the record. That's wrong. Guys, well, guys, guys, guess what? 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 How is oh! it? Oh! USA! 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 You guys are no, just baby. me. All right, all right, dude. Woo. Let's hear it for Curtis. He killed it. <laughs> Got to give a huge thanks to Matt Pilcher for sending in this brilliant implementation of an age-old effect. I love the fact that people select their own individual cards. They watch them spread out through the whole deck, and when they all come together, it's like the Avengers. If the Avengers were cards and couldn't fight anyone and were inanimate objects. Hey, we should be best friends over at twitter.com slash wood. There is no C inch wood. And next week, you're not going to want to miss it. I'm going to teach you how you can take acorns and turn them into free beer. All you have to do is find a squirrel that runs a bar. <laughs> then just be all like, can I have free beer? Well, actually, technically, it's, at that point, acorns are a currency. We're just exchanging them for goods and services. I haven't really thought this plan out. I'm going to have to work on it. But uh, the main part is the squirrel. If the squirrel owns a bar, See, they don't value acorns as much, or you don't value, you value the beer, they want the acorns. I think I'm just describing free trade. Favorite cards are aces. Yeah, Who no, else get, here, I'm on, I'm, I have this ace. I, uh, love, I love my Hey, why are you aces? stealing all my aces? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to take your aces, I'm sorry. They're favorite cards, man. Yeah. 